Good morning. Today we're going to be working on a Splat the Cat book cover. I love the Splat the Cat books and you might remember doing a Splat the Cat project in second grade even. But it's just a fun way to design a book cover. So what we're going to do is go to the Google Classroom, choose Splat the Cat, view assignment, add or create, come on down to drawings, and as it creates it, it will create the assignment with your name and the title Splat the Cat. So now what we're going to do is create our Splat the Cat. So I'm going to start just by choosing a background color. And in order to do that, I'm just going to grab a square and drag it so it's the entire length of my window. And I can fill that with whatever color I want. I'm going to go with a nice purple. Now I'm going to make my Splat the Cat. So using my shapes, um, we can see that in a lot of the pictures, he kind of goes off the cover of the book a little bit. So we don't really need to worry about legs. So I'm here and I'm going to go ahead and make my shape black. Then I'm going to make my arms. I think I'm going to use maybe the same shape and just make it really skinny. I'll turn that to the side a little bit and make that black as well. And then I'm going to make sure it's clicked on and I'm going to do control D. D stands for duplicate. So I have a second one and I can click that over here. And now my splat has two arms. Next up is going to be his ears, which will of course be triangle shaped. So I'm going to grab some triangles. All right, I'm going to change that to black. And then again, make sure it's clicked on. Control D for duplicate. And now Splat has two ears. Next up, I'm going to do the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to line and I'm going to click the down arrow and go all the way down to scribble. And I'm going to just draw a big fluffy tail. Now that's a really skinny tail right now. So what I'm going to do is while it's clicked on still, come up to line weight and go all the way down to 24 and it makes it a nice big tail. Now you can see my cursor is still a plus sign, which means that I need to um, click on the arrow so that I'm not making more um, lines on accident. Now I can start to add my details to Splat. So I'm going to add in some circles for my eyes. So I'm going to do one, make that white. Again, do my control D for duplicate. I want a black circle in the center. So I'm going to come over. Do a little black circle, duplicate, grab it. In order to grab it, I might have to make this one a little bit bigger. Oops, it's not letting me grab it. Ah! Okay, so I had to make it a little bit bigger to grab, but now I can shrink it back down now that it's where it needs to be. Okay, where was my other one? My other one was right here. Again, I might need to make it a little bit bigger until I have my arrows. There we go. So now I can do his mouth, which I am going to do as kind of this shape right here, I think. And I want to do, um, I'm going to make that like a nice dark gray and I'll duplicate that. And then in order to flip it sideways, I'm just going to grab one end and flip to the side. Ah. And there is my splat so far. Now you can add in some more details. Um, I'm going to add in, you know, like a heart for the nose, or you could do little nose, um, or you could definitely add in some other details like uh, ovals for the paws, maybe a belly shape. Maybe if you wanted a different color inside the ears, 
It's up to you, have fun and be creative. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna make sure that I have the title just like Splat the Cat always has. So what am I gonna make? Maybe Splat the Cat goes to art class. So I'll make my text box nice and big and I can write Splat the Cat and that's always up at the top and then it's something else underneath it goes to art class. So now I can make these nice and big. <clears throat> now Splat the Cat I'm noticing on here always looks a little bit bigger. So maybe I'm gonna make Splat the Cat a bigger size and then goes to art class is a little bit smaller. And also I'm gonna change my font. So I'm gonna highlight everything and I think maybe I like that font. You can choose whatever you want. And Splat the Cat is always written in red. So I'm gonna change it to red by using this A that says text color. Okay. And it looks like the is usually a little smaller too. So I'm just gonna shrink that down a little bit. So Splat the Cat goes to art class. But this picture of Splat doesn't really look like he's going to art class. In order to make him look like he's going to art class, I need to add something like art. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a picture of a paint palette. So I'm going to come over here to the mountains that say insert image, search the computer, and I'm just going to search paint palette. There's one, and I will insert that. Oh, it's unable to create it. That's okay. We'll just search again for a different one and try that one. All right, so now I'm gonna shrink that down. I'm gonna kind of put it in his hand and Splat the Cat looks like he's ready to go to art class. Now you can do your Splat any way you want. Do you want him to go to PE? Do you want him to go to music? Do you want him to go to the beach? Do you want him to go see a best friend? Do you wanna make a Halloween Splat? It's totally up to you. But once your splat is done, make sure you click back on the Splat the Cat drawing page and click turn it in. And turn it in again. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I will talk to you later.